Hello guys, my name is Jasmine and I'm going to do for you a cross ankle release tutorial. We're going to do two different ways to get into it, um, uh, from a handstand and then from cross ankle sit. And I'll explain another method that will help you if you don't have a squatter. So you can kind of feel, because it's one of those tricks that's kind of scary and if you're training alone, maybe you're like, well, I'm not sure. I think I can, but I don't know. So the one method will help with that. It's not, I don't think it's like right, <laughs> like I normally do the real one, but there's another way that you'll be able to feel it um, and then you would feel more comfortable doing it right. So we're gonna start with the handstand one. So if you're comfortable with handstands, then this is definitely gonna be the easiest way to get it. Um, it's a very simple trick. It's really, it's really just, it hurts, right? It's painful. Um, so you need to build up your skin toughness to be able to do it. So, um, or and eventually you're going to have to push through it. <laughs> Either way, you're going to have to just face, uh, face that pain and and go for it eventually. So from the handstand, um, I will kick up and arc a little bit so I can get the pole high up on my thighs, cross the legs, and squeeze. That's it. So the first way that will help you know if you can feel it or not. We will squeeze like cross ankle sit, but just the legs. So in pole, you can squeeze with just your legs, or you can add in your glutes and, and your hips, and then they can be involved in the squeeze. So the, the way that I think helps you feel it first is without the glutes. It's much easier and it's better when you're using your hips and your glutes, but um, there's some, you're gonna use your tailbone and tops of your thighs as points of contact um, without squeezing your glutes, and that should help you feel stable. So I'm gonna kick up into handstand, arc a little bit, get the pole around the tops of my thighs, and cross my ankles. So from here, you wanna just think about going down into an elbow stand. So I'm gonna to start to bend my arms to take the weight off of it. Now, I'm only squeezing my legs, so as soon as I bend my arms, watch my legs, the tops of my thighs and my tailbone, my butt, are gonna to touch the pole now. So now I feel the tops of my thighs and my tailbone, and I feel okay to let go. So that's the first way. Um, and then the other way is just full on squeezing using your hips and your glutes, which feels better, but you might not feel the tops of the thighs and tailbone stabilizing you, so it might be a little scarier at first, but it's definitely the better way. So the other way, same thing, but now instead of dropping down, I'm kind of relaxing in the hips, letting the tops of my thighs hit and my tailbone, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze everything. So this is the better way, where I'm engaging my glutes and using my hips to um, help me stay up. It actually feels better too, it's just, you don't, when you're first learning it, it might not feel as stable or you might not feel as secure going into it. So same thing from cross ankle we'll sit. And we'll start with the way where you're just using your legs. So I'm going to squeeze. And the first, I'm going to uh, let my legs come up and butt go down. So legs up, butt down. And now I feel my butt on the pole as a point of contact and the tops of my thighs. And you can let go from here. That's why it helps, this way helps mentally. Cause you're gonna feel more, you, it's the same if I just lay back, but now I feel these points of contact, which mentally helps me to go into it without feeling like I'm going to fall. Um, and then the last way you'll just start from cross ankle sit and use your glutes and use your hips, but you won't, you might not feel the tailbone and the tops of the thighs that help you um, feel more stable, but this way is better. It will be the way you get. But when you're first learning it, the other method might help just mentally. Once you feel comfortable getting into it, you can start from it engaging your glutes and hips and getting them involved, and then you'll feel while you're in it, oh, this actually feels better, this is easier, and I like it this way, and then it should be fine. So the other way. You can just even start in your leg, just start to squeeze. I'm squeezing my legs together, and now I'm engaging my glutes too. Walk yourself down, and then I'm into it here. So the 
the main difference, again, is in, involving the hips um, when you're first learning. Having these points of contact already on before you have to commit to the trick um, helps. Because I feel the pull, it's going up my butt and it's on the tops of my thighs. And I can already just let go from here. And now the difference to make it better, you're going to involve the glutes and the hips. And then it feels, it feels better when you get it like that. But the first way will help if you're new, just learning it, and if you don't have a spotter. So I hope this tutorial helps and good luck.